Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is, if the perimeter of a right angle triangle is 60 cm and its hypotenuse is 25 cm, find its area. So this is our question and I solve this. So in this question, the information is given, uh, the perimeter is given and the hypotenuse is given. So first, let us draw the right angle triangle. So let this is our right angle triangle. So this is the right angle and this is the hypotenuse, so hypotenuse is given 25 cm. So therefore this side is 25 cm. So now we name it A, B and C. So now we write let A, B is equal to x cm. So therefore we are taking this side as x centimeter so now therefore the other side will be the minus of the other side that means this is 25 and the perimeter is given 60 centimeter so if perimeter is equal to 60 centimeter hypotenuse is equal to 25 centimeter so therefore sum of other two sides that means this side plus this side and the sum will be 60 minus 25 60 minus 25 so that is equal to 35 centimeter so that means AB plus BC is equal to 35 centimeter. So now we have taken AB as x centimeter. So definitely BC will be 35 minus x centimeter. So therefore BC is equal to 35 minus x centimeter. AB is x. So therefore this total is 35. So BC will be 35 minus x. So therefore I can write that x plus 35 minus x will be is equal to 60. So we don't uh, do like this. Uh, it will be easier if we take the Pythagoras theorem. Uh, this uh, task will be a uh, little difficult. So according to Pythagoras theorem, we know that hypo square, and that is the hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square. So this is the Pythagoras theorem. So I put down the values. So our hypotenuse is equal to 25 square. Sorry, 25. So 25 square. Our base. Base means BC. So BC I have taken as 35 minus X. So 35 minus X whole square plus the height. That is AB. So AB I have taken as X. So X square. So now 25 to the power 2 will be equal to 625. Is equal to 35 minus X. So you do it 35 minus X. Multiplied by 35 minus X. So 35 into 35 it will become 1, 2 to 5. Minus 35 minus 6 that is 35 minus 35x. Now minus x into 35 that is equal to minus 35x again. And minus x minus x that is equal to plus x square. Plus minus minus plus. So therefore 1, 2 to 5. Minus 35 plus 35 that is equal to 70x plus x square. So therefore... 1, 2 to 5 minus 70x plus x square and now this x square that is equal to again plus x square. So we take all these uh, to one side. So for x square plus x square that will be definitely 2x square. So as you are taking all these um, numbers to this side, the so x square is taken to this side. So as it will become plus, so this side it becomes minus here. So minus x square. Now sorry minus 2x square. And this 70 will become plus 70x. This will become minus 1, 2, 2, 5. And this uh, 6, 2, 2, 5 is already in this set. So it will remain as it is. So plus 625 is equal to 0. So minus 2x square plus 70x minus. So 1, 2, 2, 5 minus 625 it will become 600. So minus 600 is equal to 0. So now here we take 2 as the common. So minus 2 we take as common. So therefore inside x square. Then minus. So 2 divided by 70 as equals 35. So minus 35x. And minus minus plus. So 2 divided by 600 is equal to 300. Is equal to 0. So now if we take 2 to this side. So as it is in multiplication with and, uh, this whole group, so therefore that means it will go for division this side. 
so that we are taking 2 to this side. So x square minus 35x plus 300 is equal to 0 by minus 2. So definitely we know that 0, we cannot divide anything, that result will be 0 only. So therefore here 0 by minus 2 will be 0 only. So now x square minus, so 300, and this came in the quadratic form. So therefore 300 we have to prime factorize it. So 300 by factorization we do it. So first by 2, it will become 150. Again by 2, 75. Now by 3 we do. So if we will and, uh, cut by 3, it will become 25. Now 5 is a 5, 5 is a 25. So now here we have to multiply these numbers in such a way that two numbers will come. And if we will plus or subtract them, the result will be 35. And if we will multiply them, it will be 300. So clearly you can see that if we do like this, 5 into 3. So 5 into 3, it becomes 15. So now remaining numbers, 5, 2, 2. 5 to the 10, 10 to the 20, 20. So definitely you can see here that if we plus both these numbers, it will become 35. So again I am saying 3, 5 is a 15 and 5 to the 10, 10 to the 20. So this 3, 1 pair, this 3 and 5 and this 2, 2 and 5, 1 pair. So this 3 and 5 will become 15 and this 2 and 5 will become 20. So total 35. So now I have to make it minus 35. So therefore to make it minus 35, the both not digits have to take in minus. Like this. Minus 15 minus 20. Definitely it will become minus 35. So therefore it arrange it like this here only. Minus 15x minus 20x plus 300 is equal to so 0 by minus 2 is 0 only. So now in x square minus 15x, we take x as common. So remaining x here and here 15 remains, minus 15 remains. And here we take minus 20 as common. So here remains x. So minus plus, minus only. So 300 divided by 20, that is 15. Is equal to 0. So here 15, x minus 15, x minus 15. So now I can take x minus 15 as common. So remaining is x minus 20, that is equal to 0. So therefore we get x minus 15 multiplied by x minus 20 is equal so now we can take that either x minus 15 is equal to 0 that will become x is equal to 15 or x minus 20 is equal to 0 that will become x is equal to 20 so either 15 or 20 so now we take any of the values so first the value of a b we find out a b this a b the a b i have taken as x so x we take as 15 only this 15 only we take so a b is equals to x that is equals to 15 centimeter and b c is equals to b c i have taken as 35 minus x so 35 minus x means 35 minus 15 that is equal to 20 centimeter so a b is 15 centimeter and b c is equal to 20 centimeter so now in the question it is given that we have to find its area. So therefore area is equal to. So in this question you can see AB you have also got and BC you have also got. AB you have got 15 and BC you have got as 20. So AB is 15 and BC is 20. So this is our height and this is our base. So now easily you can apply the formula half into base into height. Half into base into height. So half into our base is 20 and our height is 15 so 2 and 20 you can cut 10 say 10 into 15 that is equal to 150 centimeter square so therefore 150 centimeter square is the final answer for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solution like this